I've helped collectors sell millions in rare coins, all backed by real data from top auction houses like Heritage. I know what makes a coin valuable, and today I'll break it down for you. In this video, we're going over 1940 dimes, how much they're worth, and how to maximize the value of them when you go ahead and sell them. So up first, we do have a 1940D, 10 cent mercury dime. So if you didn't know, the allegorical figure on the front of the coin is actually Lady Liberty. A lot of people People confuse her with the Greek god Mercury, hence the nickname the coin has. This one is a Denver minted coin, and you can tell that by the D mint mark on the back bottom center area of the coin. Now, while we're on the back, you're going to see this hatchet, and there's going to be three areas of horizontal bands. Now, this coin has the full bands designation. Pretty much what it means is during the minting process, this area of the coin is the highest area. It's the hardest to strike, and it gets worn down the quickest which makes it very collectible. Now, it only really matters for mint state coins, which are uncirculated. This coin was graded by a grading company called PCGS. Now, from our years of experience in this industry, we know that PCGS and NGC are the two best grading companies, hands down. Now, there is a company called CAC or CAC that got into grading coins recently, but that's a story for another video. This coin, like I said, got the 67 grade, which is only three points away from the per perfect grade of 70. Because this coin graded so highly and it has the full bands on the back, it sold, keep in mind this is a 10 cent coin, it sold for $159. Same type of coin, same Denver minted coin, except this one sold for $3,120. And the first thing that you will notice on this coin is the crazy coloration and toning happening on the coin. Now, toning is a naturally occurring oxidation process that happens depending on where the coin coin is stored. So if you store your coin in a bad environment, the coin might get toned in a good or bad way. Now toning is super subjective. By that, I mean that one person may look at this coin and think, wow, that is a very beautifully toned coin. I want that in my collection, while someone else may look at this same exact coin and say, that is not attractive. I do not want that in my personal collection, and they will not bid on it. What you need to know is that there are toned collectors out there that will bid each other up and spend lots and lots of money on coins like this. This one did get graded one point higher at the 68 grade and also it does have a plus sign after the grade signifying that this coin is really nice for its condition. Now NGC like I said got the 68 plus grade. It also has the full bands on the back which we talked about. The biggest factors on this coin that allowed it to sell for $3,120 is going to be the grade with the plus sign and that very beautiful toning causing this coin to sell for over $3,000. Alright so these Mercury your dimes were produced at three different mints around the United States. You've got Denver, which we just went over. You have San Francisco, which we're about to go over right here. And then you have Philadelphia. So this San Francisco minted coin, you can tell that by the small little S mint mark at the back bottom center area of the coin. This one got graded by NGC at a mint state 67. So a very high grade, a very beautiful coin. And that's why someone was able to turn 10 cents into $94. The coin I just went over does not have full bands. But this coin does. Everything about the coin is nearly identical except this coin has those full bands on the back and it sold for $360. So you can see there is a value add when it comes to the full bands on the back. All right, moving up in grade here, we have a 1940S 10 cent mercury dime. This one got graded by PCGS at a mint state 68 and it does have the full bands as well as some very beautiful bluish purple toning going on with this coin. Coin. It is a very beautiful coin, something that collectors would love to have in their collection, especially if they are toned collectors. This coin was able to fetch over $2,000. To be exact, it sold for $2,040. Moving on right to the Philadelphia minted coin. So this is a 1940 Philadelphia issued coin. That means that you will not find any mint mark whatsoever on this coin. That's right. Philadelphia most of the time has no mint mark on on the coin, but sometimes it will have a P mint mark on the coin. This one got graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 with the full bands on the back. You also have a gold CAC sticker. So a gold CAC sticker happens after you get your coin graded, you send it to CAC, and if they think the coin is exceptional for the grade and it probably should be a higher grade, they will put a gold sticker on the label. It might seem pretty silly because you've got NGC and PCGS grading the coin, and then you have CAC 
grading the grade essentially. That's why CAC went and did their own thing with grading. However, these green and gold bean stickers definitely do add value to the coin. This one sold for $528. Only going up in value here, we have a very toned coin that looks almost dirty to the untrained eye, except we know, because you watch the Old Money Prices YouTube channel, that this is actually a naturally occurring oxidation process that we call toning. This coin got graded by NGC at a mint state 68 with the full bands on the back, and this coin sold for $750. 1940 10 cent no mint mark, which means this is a Philadelphia issued coin. Once again, NGC graded this coin at a mint state 68 with the full bands on the back, and it sold for $900. Now listen, if you want to sell one of these coins, this is what we recommend. Go to at least three different coin shops, get their opinion, be open-minded, don't tell them that they're wrong because you watched a video and you know your coin's worth a lot of money. The reality is, the grade is very, very important, but if they all tell you the same thing, they're probably telling you the truth. Just do not go to a pawn shop, listen to your instinct. Also, if you haven't already, we have a free coin and currency ebook down below. Don't miss that, and we'll see you guys in the next video.